major insurance company has issued an ultimatum to, to California. I think we expected this, right? We've seen it coming because mm -hmm. all insurers, in one way or another, have been playing chicken with the state of California, trying to minimize their risk from climate change and wildfires. And the, the sharp fire today certainly underlines that. But in a move that is potentially catastrophic for California homeowners, the state's largest insurer, State Farm, has issued an ultimatum. They have told the California Department of Insurance, if you don't give us massive rate hikes, we are going to cease coverage in the Golden State. That's a very, very big deal. And these rate hikes are no small thing either. Specifically, State Farm wants to raise home insurance rates by 30%. It wants to boost the cost of condo coverage by 36%. And it wants to raise the price of uh, renter's insurance by a whopping 52%. Oh my. It says that if the California Department of Insurance doesn't cave to these demands, that's it. It's gone. And State Farm, like farmers and like others, has already started limiting the new policy that's at issuing. So this is placing the existing policyholders right in the crosshairs. And we're talking well over a million California homeowners who are now caught in the middle of this mess. To be sure, State Farm and other insurers do face a higher risk from climate change and here in California, the wildfires that can ensue. But these rate hikes, well, they are simply enormous. And on top of that, keep in mind, State Farm received a 20% rate hike just last December. So these new rate hikes are on top of that. And when you start piecing it all together, you realize that higher insurance costs, and most lenders require you to have home coverage uh, as a condition for getting a mortgage, this just makes yet another obstacle to home ownership in California because affording the home is hard enough. Affording the mortgage is hard enough. Now affording coverage is going to be even more outrageous. What do you do about something like this? Well, the Department of Insurance is now reviewing this. They haven't come up with an answer. What answer can there be? In any case, this isn't necessarily just a California problem. Florida is also finding that its properties are increasingly uninsurable. Texas will soon face the same problems, all related to climate change. This is, in other words, a national problem, which means the federal government at some point is going to have to get involved because the insurer of last resort here in California, the so-called FAIR plan, it doesn't have enough money to cover all these homeowners. It's bare bones coverage at a very high price. It's not a solution to this problem. What is a solution? Well, I've proposed a Medicare style insurance plan that would allow all homeowners to buy into that pool and it would try to minimize the risk by spreading that risk as far and wide as you can. That's exactly how Medicare works. Whether we could get private insurers to play ball with something like that, that's an open question. And if you're wondering, well, is State Farm hurting financially? No. Hmm. Last year, the of company made over $1 billion in profit. Wow. Well, like you said, it's going to be widespread if it does happen because I think I read one in five homeowners has State Farm. Yep. Mm. So it's just so, so many. Homeowners. Yeah, and we don't even think about the renter's insurance at that point. That's a 52% increase yeah. for rental insurance. These are crazy numbers. And again, I want to emphasize, State Farm is not alone in dealing with these issues. Their risk is legitimately growing, mm -hmm. but what this speaks to is a broken business model. Yep. And the home ownership is just so, um, it's so hard to imagine a future if you're just moving to California. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you have a family, you got a, there's another article out today about that. But just anecdotally, I have friends who can't get insurance, so they have to go to the fair plan, and that's $13,000 a year, right. that's not equity in the home. Then you have people who can't close on their homes because the person buying can't get insurance. And then insurance premiums going up, I, I know one, a thousand, more than $1,000 a month increase with a fixed rate mortgage. This is all so, it's hard to see the silver lining. And there's another monkey in that wrench, and that is the FAIR plan that you were describing right there. Right. It doesn't even cover, include earthquake insurance. Exactly. Which is a whole other thing as yes. well. As I say, these are just more obstacles to home ownership, which means the American dream, the California dream, becomes increasingly out of reach. It's very sad and scary. It is sad and scary. <laughs>